Hey guys, it's Kami and today I will try to explain you some parts of UI and the basic things that go hand in hand with it. So let's start with looking on the main UI interface. First of all, you can customize it. Press escape to get the menu. Now to customize UI, press adjust UI. And as you can see, I can't do it when I'm fishing, so let's take the fish out. Okay, got junk. Now let's try to customize. So we can turn on and off some UI, not all of them. You can also move. Then press save. If you will somehow mess up, you can always press the reset button, so don't worry about that. Also, you can create additional chat windows and have a few of them. You can separate and merge them with the button as well as their size by dragging top right corner and move on your screen. In order to move those charts, you'll need to go to adjust UI, which I have previously shown. Also, you can filter out your charts. As you can see, I have made it so that the left chart show everything typed by players and the right one by system. You can do it in any other way you like, it is completely up to your taste. Ok, now let's look at the most important parts of your UI. So this is the top left corner. Here you can see a level, you currently are, percentage to the next level, you can also check it as a line on the top of your screen. The next thing goes skill points. Those are used to level up your skills, so they are very important. For the most part you obtain them by killing mobs and by questing. You can get them also for other activities, but they don't give a lot. So for the most part questing can kill mobs. Let's move to the next one, spirit, also called vigor or energy. And maybe called even somehow else in the actual English version. My main advice related to those points is to use them always. So if you reach a cap of your points, then you're doing something wrong, seriously. You should always invest those points somewhere as they regenerate every 3 minutes, as well as granted for finishing some quests. And you can use them in a lot of different ways, for example gather something, chop a tree, mine something or someone, catch a fish. Though catching a fish is not the best example, because you can catch a fish even without them. As for the gathering, you always need to spend one point, also you waste them by talking to NPCs. To increase your amity with them, what's the use of it? Some NPCs have reaching points, which you can check just by walking close to them, or by talking to them, you will be able to see that on that ring, in the bottom left corner. You can unlock those things by playing a mini game with them, so you are talking with them. You waste some amount of points, and the higher amity they have already, the more points you will waste. I will make a separate video about talking with NPCs, so stay tuned for that one. You also use those points for other things, for instance you can invest your energy into some nodes. You can also open the nodes if you are not close to NPC, it will use some energy. It is also used for milking a cow and other activities, so it is used for a lot of things and they give you various bonuses. I will talk more detailed on that in another video dedicated to each specific activity. If for some reason you think that you don't need to invest in any of those, then you can always turn your energy and small amount of time into money. For example, simply by buying empty bottles for 50 silver each, then taking water from the nearest river and selling them for over 2000 silver, that is current approximate price on Japanese server. So as I said, my main tip about them is that you don't want those points to top out, but also note that I would advise to always travel with some decent amount of energy points, because some NPCs have dialogues that cost a lot of energy, but give you some knowledge, and you can find them in such place that you would not need to return there in the nearest future. So try to have some amount of them, but not top out. Now where can you get those points, you would ask? You get them by talking to NPCs, for finding different places, learning about mobs, for reading books, and a lot of other activities you do in the game. Basically for everything that can give you some knowledge, which you can check by pressing button H by default. And you can check the results that you have already learned and see some that you are missing to get the point. For instance, you can see some beast knowledges in Balanus region that I am missing in order to obtain one more point and you can learn them just by killing a tons of those mobs. As you can see there are tips on what mobs you need to kill in order to obtain them. As I have said, you also get them for other activities like talking with NPCs cooking, gathering, 
fishing and everything else you do in this game. Now let's move to the other points, which are contribution points. I would say that those are the most useful and most needed points in all the game. This is the priority number one. So I would say that you need the more even than the level. Of course, it depends on what you are doing in the game. But pretty much in order to do anything other than just fighting, you need those contribution points. Why do you need them so much? First of all, you can invest them into houses. So for instance, you can have a warehouse. It will give additional space to your warehouse. Also, you can invest them in other houses, like you can build an armor shop, you can craft different armors there. There are weapon shops, jewelry shops, and a lot of other useful stuff. I will talk about it in a separate video about the map, so please wait for that one. You can also invest them in residence, that is basically your house, let me show it to you. You can place some furniture, tools and other things there. For instance, in this house I only have a cooking utensil that is used for cooking. I will talk about it in another video. Also, you can place some items that give you buffs, hair and a lot of other things. And one of the most useful things you can place there is a container, which allows you to access a warehouse in the main city from other places where you can rent a residence. It is going to save you a lot of time. Instead of running back and forth between towns, you will be able to place your items in one place and level up only one town. As I have previously said, I will make a separate video about investing those points on the map. So just to give you an example, currently I have my container in city Kaplan and it opened a warehouse in Kalfeon. So instead of running from Kalfeon to Kaplan, I can run around Kaplan with different quests, getting items, then going back to Kaplan and store all the items in Kalfeon. You would ask, then why don't you store it in Kiplan? Because you're not always staying in the same place, you will run quite a lot. With questing you will move from place to other place, and the main city is something like a base around which you are moving. So we will move around it for quite some time, and investing points in some warehouse, for instance my investment in Kalfeon. Buying a house and upgrading them costs some money and some time. Also, you will have a lot of stuff, you can look on my warehouse, and moving all stuff from one town to another will not be that easy. So we want to lower the amount of time you move as much as you can, but you can access only the main town of a region with that container. So for example, if you will have container placed somewhere in Kaplan, you will only access Kalfeon, and if you will go to Glish, there you will access Heidel. So those are two different regions. You don't need to get another container in order to do that, but you will be able to access only the main town with it. About how I moved from Heidel to Kalfeon I will make a separate video, so stay tuned for that one. Now how and where can you get that container? You can get it from any warehouse keeper and it costs 10 contribution points. So we can invest those points not only into different houses and nodes, but also to rent some items. As you can see by looking at my contribution points description, I have run only one container, but there are also a lot of useful items that you can rent for them. Like for example, there are a lot of great jewelry. But I prefer investing them into nodes and houses. As I previously said, you will always lack them, so try to get as much as you can, and for that questing all the time is a good way to start the game. Now you would ask if I have rent an item or I have purchased a house and I don't want them anymore. What do I do now? How do I get my contribution points back? Do I need to keep doing quests? No, you can get those points back. To get points back from items, you need to get them to respective NPCs. For instance, if you want to return a container, then you can get it to any warehouse keeper and you will be able to get all your points for it back. Same goes for other items. As for the nodes and houses, you press on house, where nothing else is connected, there is simply a sell button. If there is something connected, you will have a sale condition confirmation, you press it and you can sell either all or some which you need. But you will not be able to always sell them, for example you can sell warehouse if there are not enough empty slots, you need to clear them first. Exactly the same thing goes to nodes, you click on the node and you can get the point back. Note that when you get the points back from a node, all the node level will reset. 
So I do not really recommend to invest your energy into that. There will be a few more videos about it with other details. It is quite hard to split the information to different videos and also the information will be always insufficient in one video as a lot of stuff is interconnected in this game and if I will continue to talk about each detail of one aspect then I will end up with hours long video about everything. This video is already too long so I will wrap it up here and will continue in another part. I will try to split it somewhat even and understandable so hopefully it will work out and be understandable to you. If it's not, please let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.